Hey guys, Raphael here again with Nova Cleaners. Today I want to give you guys a couple of pointers as to what to look out for when you're buying a new mop system for your home. So let's get right to it. First and foremost, ask yourself this question. Do you own pets? I say that not because I have anything against pets, but it doesn't matter how good of a job you do vacuuming, there is going to be pet fur left behind. So if you use a mop system like this one here, which works great and there's time and a place for it, if you own pets, that's not the way to go. More likely you're gonna drag fur from one place to another, and that can be very frustrating. That's not a mop you wanna go with if you own pets. There's mops like the X3 mop, which is one of my personal favorites, which works phenomenally well for anyone that has pets because they have designed a chamber with little bristles on the top that removes pet fur every time you wring out the mop so that when you go to mop, it's completely clean, which is phenomenal. Another thing to keep in mind is what type of floor will you be using the mop on? I say that because it depends on what kind of water saturation you want, right? Certain mop systems have heavier ringing, meaning there's less saturation, right? So if you use it on laminate flooring versus hardwood flooring versus concrete finish, it makes a difference, right? Something to keep in mind. The other thing is <laughs> how much floor will you be covering? If you have a huge house, which I know some of our clients do, which is absolutely awesome, but when it comes to mopping, you gotta use the right mop system. If you use something like, dare I say something negative about the X3 mop, but it is not fully designed for big spaces because the bucket is so small that you're constantly having to change the water, which, you know, slows you down and it can be, you know, time consuming and it's just unnecessary. So if you use something like the Violeta mop, <clears throat> this little fancy thing here, it has a much bigger bucket and it's very easy for wringing out, which is nice. So it helps you speed up the process, right? And of course, there is lots of other mop systems that have, you know, big buckets if you're using a commercial, commercial grade bucket or something like that. So those are some tips to keep in mind. And the other thing that you want to definitely, definitely make sure of is, is it user friendly? Are you gonna be battling with the bucket and the mop every time you go to wring out the water? Is it super bulky and complicated to empty out the dirty water and put in new water? Is it one of those things where the mop has no give? It's completely stiff and has no flexibility? Is it a mop system that is very heavy and is gonna hurt your lower back? It's all things to keep in mind for when you're mopping your own home, right? And of course, as always, if you don't wanna do it yourself, give us a call and we would love to do it for you. So I'm gonna leave a few links in the description below for some great mops that you can use for your home. Thanks for watching. See you soon.